Good morning and welcome to the nations of the world. You are welcome inside of our global prayer room this morning. And today is day number four of our 10 days of Teshuva prayers for the Caribbean nations. And this morning I am praying from Psalms 144 to open our prayer room. Blessed be the Lord my strength, who teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer, my shield, and in him whom I trust who subdueth the people under me. Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that thou makest an account of him? Man is like vanity. His days are as a shadow that passeth away. Bow down thy heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. Send thy hand from above. Rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, Upon a palsy and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace, that our garners may be full, affording all manner of stores, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in, no, no going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy is the people that is such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Hallelujah. I've just concluded reading Psalms 144. And now we are getting ready to go into Teshuva and intercession for the nation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I welcome you to unite with us in prayer this morning for this nation. Mighty God, we give you praise and thanksgiving this morning. We bless and we magnify your name because you are God and beside you there is none. From the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The name of the Lord is to be glorified. You are God. You are El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty. You are Adonai, the Lord, creator of the heaven and earth, the God of Israel. You are God, Jehovah Nissi, the Lord, my banner. Your banner over me is love. You are Jehovah Rapha, the Lord my healer, the God who healeth all my diseases. You are Jehovah Shama, the Lord is here with us now and forevermore. You are Jehovah Tiskunu, the Lord our righteousness, for our righteousness is in you. Elohim Adonai, you are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord 
Lord my provider who provides me with all good and perfect blessings from above. You are Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of the heavenly armies of heaven, the God who fights for us, the God who releases the archangels to destroy the workers of iniquity and to rescue your righteous people. You are God and beside you there is none. And mighty God, this morning we are lifting up the Caribbean islands, the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. According to your word in Isaiah 42 and verse 10, you said, sing unto the Lord a new song and his praises from the ends of the earth. You that go down to the sea and all that is therein in the islands, let the wilderness and the cities therefore lift up their voice. Let the villages of Kedar lift up their voice. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing of your praises. Let them shout from the tops of the mountains and let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praises in all the islands. Mighty God, we lift up the nations of the Caribbean this morning and we are standing in the gap interceding this morning for the Prime Minister of St. Vincent, Mighty God. Dr. Ralph Gonzalez. We lift up the Prime Minister this morning. According to 1 Timothy chapter 2, I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. And and so I pray God for Dr. Ralph Gonzalez. I pray that you would give him the wisdom and the understanding to lead the nation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I pray God that you would send angels to order his steps in the right direction. Give him governing power. Give him economic power. Give him financial power. Give him wisdom from on high that he would lead the nation in all in godliness he would lead the nation's people in the right way cause him to have multiplication power that the decisions that he makes will be a blessing to both the rich and the poor it will be a blessing to all mountains of that nation lord let dr ralph gonzalez experience a sober fear for god let him understand that you are the god who sets up kings and you are the God that can take down kings and so let his mind receive the knowledge of the fear of the Lord give him a hunger and a thirst for holiness give him a hunger and a thirst for the word of God send godly men and women into his office who will prophesy the word of the Lord to him not so that he can believe in prophecies but so that he can believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mighty God, we lift up his cabinet before you and we pray for the leaders that you have placed around Dr. Ralph Gonzalez. We pray that they will be God-fearing men. We pray that they will be men of integrity. We pray that they will be honest and ethical in all their dealings. We pray for the government of St. Vincent right now that you would give them standing power, that you would give them staying power, that you would give them economic power and good common sense. Let it prevail over their cabinet that they will lead the nation of St. Vincent and the Grenadines from glory to glory and from victory to victory. We lift up their nation's God, even as St. Vincent and the Grenadines comprises of 32 smaller islands. We begin to lift up all of the islands of 
of the Grenadines right now. We lift up the Young Island. We lift up Beckway and Mustik. We lift up Canuan and Union Island. We pray right now for Miriam and Peter, Petit St. Vincent, even the Palm Islands and all of the other 23 islands that are uninhabited. Let the islands hear the word of the Lord this morning. Let the islands of the Grenadines hear the voice of God this morning. We speak to the nations this morning to bow down and serve Yahweh. We speak to St. Vincent this morning. We speak life and peace. We speak grace and mercy. We speak increase and prosperity. We speak to the nation of St. Vincent this morning. Hear ye the word of the Lord, O St. Vincent and Grenadines. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is Lord of your nations. Let all of the nation return to you. Let the pastors and the ministers, God, return to you with weeping and fasting and praying. And so I release the spirit of repentance over their nation so that revival can come. Let men and women of the of the cross let them return to the altar with weeping and fasting and praying i release the spirit of repentance through every church in st vincent and the grenadines i release the spirit of humility that men and women will bow their knees at the altar of prayer and they will begin to intercede for their nation put a love in the hearts of pastors and evangelists and ministers and apostles put a love for their nation put a love in their hearts for the sons and daughters of that nation put a love in their heart that they will be grieved when the nation grieves that they will be in lamentation when the nation is in lamentation that they will be saddened by the burdens that moves the heart of God Lord I pray that you would raise up preachers who are preaching and calling in the souls. I pray for revival preachers in St. Vincent. I pray that you will raise up godly men and women who fear you, who fear God, who are preaching the unadulterated word of God without fear and without compromise. Raise up messengers of truth. Raise up preachers of truth. Raise up men and women who are preaching the cross once again. Winning many souls back into the kingdom of God. Lord, I turn and I pray even now against the wicked of the land. Root up the wicked in the churches. Root up the false prophets. Root up the false teachers. Root up the false apostles. Root up the satanic conspiracies. Lord, I pray against every satanic conspiracy fighting the true revival church of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Shut down the churches of the false prophets shut down the churches of false apostles shut down the churches of false teachers let there be a purging in the land of sin once again in the mighty name of Jesus and so this morning, I pray against gang violence in the streets and drug addictions in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to move through the land at every junction where drugs are being sold. And I decree and declare, let the drug stations be shut down. Let the drug pushers be rooted up out of the land. Let the marijuana sellers be rooted up out of the land. Let the gang leaders repent or be rooted up out of the land in the name of Jesus. I shut down the marijuana fields. I shut down the coking stations. I shut down every bars. The bars that is encouraging prostitution, drinking and liming and lawlessness. I shut it down this morning by the power of Jesus Christ in the name of Yeshua. 
And Lord, I turn and pray against foreclosures and people that are losing property, people that are losing their homes. I pray against that spirit this morning. And I pray that you will establish families in good homes, that they will have a roof over their head, that they will not be homeless. I pray against the spirit of homelessness. I pray against the spirit of, of, of having their roofs ripped off of their heads. I pray against that spirit this this morning and I pray that you will plant and settle in mothers and fathers, sons and daughters. Let the families of St. Vincent be established. Let the families be established in good moral living. Let there be no adultery. I pull men and women out of the bed of adultery. I pull them out of fornication. I pull them out of perversion. I pull them out this morning out of the hands of Satan and I proclaim wholeness to their nation wholeness to the conventions I speak righteousness to the convention people I speak cleanness to the convention people I speak holiness to the convention people right now in the name of Jesus husbands will return to their wives and wives will return to their husbands and husbands will love their wives as Christ loved the church and wives will submit to their husbands because the husband is the head of the homes and even now Lord I lift up sons and daughters of the land and I pray God that a divine covering be upon the sons and daughters of St. Vincent and the Grenadines let our sons and daughters of this nation rise up and begin to preach the gospel according to Joel 2 O oh God you said our sons and daughters will prophesy in the last days and so I pray that sons and daughters will be awakened to preach the gospel to live right Right, to be clean, to live holy lives. I pray for sons and daughters to take their education well. Let scholarships come out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let trophies and awards and national and international recognition come out of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for now that sons and daughters of St. Vincent will begin to rise up and do great things for God. Their names will be known throughout all of the Caribbean that God is with them and that God is in their nation in the name of Jesus and even now God I pray against corruption and theft I pray against mass shootings in the land I pray against weather disasters hurricanes tsunamis earthquakes I pray against it even now and I begin to open press shields over their nation I open press shields over the governments I open press shields over the schools I open press shields over the highways and the byways I begin to move through the streets of Beckway and Young Island I open press shields even now over the families of St. Vincent and the Grenadines I move through Canyon and Union Island right now I open press shields even now over the people and I pray God that the righteous will be protected according to your word the wicked will be overthrown but the house of the righteous will stand I open press shields over every school, every university I open press shields even now in the mighty name of Jesus and I pray for the preservation of the righteous in the land, I pray for the preservation of the churches in the land I pray for the preservation of the sons and daughters in the land that they will not be hurt by natural disasters hurricanes, storms, earthquakes and tsunamis in the name of Jesus. Even now, God, I turn and pray for their economic systems. I pray, mighty God, that their banana industries will begin to flourish according to your word. You will restore the years that the locust and the caterpillar and the canker worm have stolen. I pray for a supernatural multiplication over their banana trees. Let their banana trees begin to flourish, bringing them good income for imports and exports. Mighty God, I 
pray for a supernatural harvest with their ground provisions. Let there be a hundredfold return. I move through the ground even now and I begin to release the fertilizer of the Holy Spirit. Let their dashing crops produce in abundance. Let their cassavas produce in abundance. Let their yams and sweet potatoes produce in abundance. Cause them to reap a hundredfold from their harvest God so that their income and their 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 income will multiply by a hundredfold lord even the spice fields i move through the spice fields in the realms of the spirit and i speak to every spice planter i say your crop will produce let the spices of the land begin to multiply let the nutmeg of the lands begin to multiply every spice cinnamon and clove let it begin to multiply raise up more spice farmers in the land that they will produce in abundance and they will reap a hundredfold return I pray even now for their livestock let there be an increase in their livestock in their cattle and in their chickens and all of their livestock their fish and their poultry let there be a hundredfold multiplication that the nation of St. Vincent and Grenadines will prosper the nation will prosper the people will prosper. Their sons and daughters will prosper. Their children will prosper. The small businesses will prosper. The large businesses will prosper. The entrepreneurs will prosper. I speak it over their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your name be glorified over the nation of St. Vincent. And even now, God, I turn and I pray for an increase in angelic interventions. Let angels begin to be released out of this headquarters right now. I begin to send out prayer to our angels into St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I begin to release angels on assignment. Let angels begin to move through every nation, every one of their small islands, every street, let angels begin to move through the capital city of Kingston right now and begin to overturn every evil altar. Let every evil altar be overturned right now. Let every satanic planting be uprooted. I move through the coastlines. I move through the riverbeds. I move over their seas and their oceans. Let the angel of the Lord begin to overturn every evil altar. Wherever strange fires are being offered, let it be overturned by the power of Jesus Christ this morning. Angels on assignment. I release angels on assignment. Angels, angels, angels to the four corners of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I release angels to Mustique. I release angels to the small islands of Canyon, Union Island, Miriam. I release angels to Palm Island. Angels to Beckway. Angels to the Grenadines, to Young Islands. I release angelic inventions right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, even now, I turn and I pray for favor with the churches and the ministries of the land. Lord, I'm asking you for favor. Grant the pastors favor. I strengthen their hands in the spirit. I lift up the hand of the end time apostles and pastors and ministers. And I pray for strength. Let strength come to every pastor right now. Let strength come to every church. The pastors that are discouraged, I pray for encouragement. I release the spirit of encouragement to their souls right now. Let pastors begin to be strengthened in their altar as they turn in prayer and in fasting and weeping and in praying. I strengthen the churches right now. I strengthen the ministers that are preaching the gospel. I strengthen the youth ministries. I strengthen deacons and deaconess. I strengthen them in their church building projects. I strengthen the local churches right now. I strengthen the, the church organizations and I pray for unity among the fivefold ministry. I strengthen evangelists now to preach the gospel, to go to the four corners of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and begin to preach the gospel like never before. Let the word of the Lord come out of the evangelist's mouth as a double-edged sword, piercing the very hearts and soul of men and women, leading them to Christ in the name of Jesus. And mighty God, even now, I turn and I begin to call for one million souls throughout the Caribbean nations. 
We are calling for one million souls. I snatch souls out of the darkness. I snatch souls out of the prison cells of hell. I'm snatching souls out of the bed of affliction. I'm snatching souls out of the prison cells of witchcraft and necromancy and voodoo. I am snatching souls out of darkness and pulling them into the marvelous light. I pull, I pull, I pull by the apostolic force of God. I pull souls out of the darkness into the marvelous light and I release the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah over the nation of St. Vincent. Let men and women begin to be saved. Let them put down their evil ways. Let them turn from their wicked ways. Repent of their sins and come to the cross in the name of Jesus. Even now, God, I call for one million souls. I speak one million souls. One million souls will be saved over the Caribbean nations, throughout every nation. The last great harvest of souls must be reaped in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak one million souls. One million souls. Let one million souls be saved to the glory and honor of God the Father. In the mighty name of Jesus the Messiah, I say amen and amen. At this point in time, we are going to honor the Lord of the nations of the Caribbean by playing the national anthem of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. As their anthem begins to play, we want you to begin to proclaim over that nation. Proclaim revival, proclaim deliverance, proclaim healing, proclaim wisdom. As the Lord lays on your heart, I want you to begin to proclaim as their national anthem is sounded this morning.
Well, saints of God, we have just concluded praying for the nation of St. Vincent and Grenadines. And indeed, we are going to continue lifting up their nation and all of the Caribbean nations in much prayer. And this morning, I have a short word of exhortation for you. Our morning devotion. I'm talking about the altar of incense this morning. I'm reading Exodus 30, verse 7 to 9. And Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning. When he dressed the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron light the lamps at evening, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. You shall offer no strange incense thereon, nor burnt sacrifice, nor meat offering. Neither shall you pour drink offering thereon. And so here we see where Aaron was required to light the lamps both morning and evening and burn incense upon the Lord's holy altar. And we all know that the incense in our time represents the prayers of the saints. And I want to read something for you about how powerful incense, the incense in that time was. As incense would lay upon the hot coals, a sweet-smelling aroma would fill the atmosphere. When Aaron burned the incense on the golden altar, the entire holy place would be filled with a sweet fragrance, which would extend into the gates of the tabernacle and past the gates, past the outer courts, as well, into the, as, well as into the city. The sweet incense could be smelled from as much as a mile away, miles away. Hallelujah. That was the power of the incense on the altar in that time. And even now, the power of our incense, which is our prayer, it is unspeakable. Our prayers carries great power. Our prayers arise up into the nostrils of heaven as a sweet smelling sacrifice and it carries great power. The horns on the altar of covenant, it speaks of the power of prayer reaching the four corners of the earth. And as intercessors, the Lord has called us to stand in the gap and to intercede for nations. And so we do not have to be in a nation to pray for that nation or lift up a prayer for them. The power of intercession allows us to pray from wherever we are. The power of intercession allows us to sit in our prayer rooms and open our mouth and release the prayer of the righteous to the nations of the world. And change will come. Because the Bible says that God hears and answers the prayer of the righteous. So God has given us authority to release prophetic decrees, to release proclamations to the nations, and transformation must come. And so I want to encourage you this morning, intercessors, watchmen, gatekeepers under the sound of my voice, begin to open your mouth and speak to the nations. Speak to your nation. Speak to your families. Decree and declare over your families. Your prayer carries power. And so the intercessor of this hour, I want to say, I want to tell you three things, three characteristics that you must seek to walk in. 
Number one, you must be diligent in prayer. You must be consistent in prayer. You must set yourself to an hour of prayer, whether it be morning prayer, midday prayer, evening prayer, whatever time is uh, convenient for you, but you must be consistent to come to that place of prayer. Because once you set an hour of prayer, the angel of the Lord arrives before you and he's waiting for you. So it's very important to be consistent with your hour of prayer. Don't miss your hour of prayer. You set your times and keep it no matter what. Keep that hour of prayer because the angels come. The angels come down with their vials to receive the prayers of the saints. Because the prayers of the saints, it is the only thing that can perfume the throne of God. The prayers of the saints, according to Revelations 8, 3 and 4. Number two, your second characteristic, you must be holy in prayer. You must be holy in prayer. You see, the Bible says that the prayer of the wicked shall be cut off. The, the Lord does not hear the prayer of the wicked, but the prayer of the righteous avails much. And so, through the grace of the Holy Spirit, for no man can be holy in their own strength, but through the grace of the Holy Spirit, you must seek holiness. You must seek righteousness. You must seek to live a clean life. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And if your body is unclean or carries impurities, then your prayer will be unclean and be impure. Your temple will be defiled. And therefore, whatever prayer you offer out of a defiled temple is already defiled. And so the Lord is calling the nations of the world back to purity. To clean your temples. Go into every room of your home, your spiritual life, and clean out those rooms. Clean your temples of every defilement. Anything that will defile you, clean it out. May the Lord empower you to be set free from emotional bondage this morning. May the Lord set you free from every emotional soul tie this morning. May the Lord set you free from every emotional bondage, every inordinate affection be broken off your life this morning. Let it be broken off your life this morning. Everything that hinders you from rising in prayer, let it be broken off your life this morning. Every defilement trying to be in, in, ensnare your foot, let it be broken this morning. Every yoke that so easily beset you, let it be broken this morning. In the name of Jesus. And I declare over your life that your temple will be clean. I declare that your body will be clean. Your body will be the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body will be the temple of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And so you must seek to be holy in prayer. And lastly, your third characteristic. As an end time intercessor and gatekeeper, you must have clean hands and a pure heart. According to the word of God, who shall ascend into the mountain of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy hill? He that has clean hands and a pure heart. And so this morning, I pray even now for every intercessor under the sound of my voice. May their hands be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. May their hearts be purified by the power of Jesus Christ. May you walk in a new revelation of holiness. May you never undermine holiness and purity. May you never undermine what it means to have a clean temple and to live a clean life. I speak holiness over your life this morning. I release the spirit of holiness. I declare that your hands shall be washed in the blood of Jesus. 
I declare that you will have pure hearts. The angel of the Lord, even now, let the holy oil begin to purify hearts. Even now, I see the Lord working on your hearts. God is saying to you, I am purifying your heart. Allow me to purify your heart and to remove every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Those are anti-thoughts, anti-Christ thoughts. The Lord is saying, let me remove those high thoughts. Because it is those high thoughts that will cause you to error. It is the high thoughts in your heart. It is the high thoughts. Remove those high thoughts. Every high thought that exalts itself against the glory of God. Let it be removed this morning. Let it be removed out of your life this morning. I destroy it. I pull it down in the name of Jesus. And I release the thoughts of God. I decree and declare over your life that you will become an intercessor, not only for nations, but an intercessor in the inner courts. I decree and declare that your incense will begin to arise pure and holy. It will be a sweet smelling sacrifice unto the Lord. Sweet incense will come out of your temple from today. And it will enter into the nostrils of the Father as a sweet smelling sacrifice. Sweet incense, pure incense, holy incense. For the Lord detests strange fires, but he embraces sweet incense, pure prayers, holy worship. In the name of Jesus. And so this morning, I bless you. I have my holy anointing oil here. I'm going to release a blessing over your life and then play our closing song. Mighty God, Jehovah, Sabaoth. This morning, I release a blessing over every intercessor this morning, every watchman, every seer, every prophet, every apostle that is tuned on to our prayer this morning in the prayer room with us. I release fresh oil upon your heads this morning, fresh oil for a new day. I release new strength, new strength for a new day, new strength for a new assignment, new strength for whatever you must do for the Lord. I release strength 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 let strength come upon you now strength to endure strength to fight the good fight of faith strength to continue working the works of god while it is yet day i speak strength over your life just receive the strength of the lord strength come upon you this morning the strength of the lord comes upon you this morning strength like no other i strengthen your right arm this morning the Lord strengthens your fingers to fight. The Lord strengthens you to engage in spiritual warfare and to overcome. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Strength this morning. I strengthen your arm for the work ahead. I strengthen your hand for the work ahead. I strengthen your hand for the assignment ahead. I strengthen your right arm this morning in the name of Jesus. Receive the strength of the Lord. Fresh oil on your heads. Wisdom from on high. The blessing of the Lord upon your day. I bless your homes. I bless you on your job. I bless your cubicle right now. I bless you in that ministry. I bless your sons and daughters as they are heading out to school this morning. I bless your churches. I bless your congregations. I bless your assignment. I bless your ministries. I bless the work of your hands this morning and I speak life and godliness over your day today. All good things shall come to you today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to play our closing out song this morning. Enjoy this beautiful song as you make your way to work and you make your way to your assignments.
saints of God that brings me to the end of our prayer room this morning the Lord bless you the Lord keep you the Lord make his face shine upon you have a wonderful day today on your jobs in your homes with your families be safe on the nation's roadway until tomorrow morning Shalom